Hi everyone, right now I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPod. So first I have the FaceTime app, you all know what that is. Followed by the music app, the video app, the camera app, photos, YouTube, maps, calendar, weather, app store, iTunes, settings, contacts, and calculator. Those are all the standard Apple apps that come on every iPod. Now in my bottom tray here, there's the Safari app, the mail app, the Facebook app, and the TweetDeck app. Now in this folder right here is the Apple utilities. Now the clock came on the iPod, as well as voice memos, stocks, game centers, notes, and that's pretty much it. The iBooks, Remote, and Find My iPhone are all available for download in the App Store. Now, now I have my What's This folder. Now this has various search apps, random apps, and um, price checker apps. So there's the Bing app, the Red Laser app, the Urban Spoon app, which chooses a random place for you to eat, as well as the Currency Converter, the Red Box app, the Best Buy app, the Apple Store app, and some other QR slash price check readers. Now going to the next home page, here are my production apps that I use for production if I'm shooting a video on here. I have Photoshop Express, iMovie, Dropbox, Box.net, SugarSync, and Splice. Op Opera Mini, Speed Test, Guitar Tuner, and Boxy. And this app lets you do a remote desktop, but it doesn't work very well. Tap Tap Revenge, the first version. And here I have all my apps that have to do with podcasts. So I have some CNET apps, Podcaster, which is available. It's three bucks, but it's worth it because it's the only app that will do that. Revision 3 and the Twit Network. Here's this app. It's called My Badges. It's for merit badges and Boy Scouts. So if you're interested in that, that's 99 cents. Wordsworth. Um, this was the first game I bought that was compatible with Game Center. I don't really play it anymore. Seize the Day is a to-do list app, and here are all my book apps. I have Nook, Borders, Stanza, Classics, Kindle, and Google Books. I don't use those very much either. Now here's Dragon Dictation. It allows you to dictate with your voice, basically. You can type stuff in a text field. Flight Control, that's a game. Evernote, it's a great service that lets you type notes online. Stardunk, that's a game that's compatible with Game Center now, I think. Fruit Ninja, also compatible with Game Center. Hungry Shark, and in this folder where it says social, this is, these are all like the internet streaming apps for streaming live. I also have both versions of Cut the Rope, both the regular one and the holiday edition. Runway Free is a runway game where you land airplanes. And Ski Ball, you know what that is, it's Ski Ball. And these are my camera apps, including Instagram and Camera Plus, Hipstamatic, and a few others. Paper Toss, fun game. VLC allows you to load content from your computer. Coin Flip, Flips Coin. Appbox Pro has lots of apps inside of it. Firefox Home, uh, I think it allows you to import your bookmarks. I haven't really tried it out yet. I also have a Dice app, the Cash Cab, the Marble Roll and a uh, unit converter, as well as the ESPN Sports Center, an in and out app for finding locations in class, which keeps you in class, which lets you keep track of all your notes in school. Google Earth lets you see things on Google Earth. Google, that does all your Google services. Wikipedia, search Wikipedia, dictionary, search the dictionary. HP iPrint, print to your HP printer. The big lighter you can have a lighter on your iPod. Talkatone, that's an app that lets you do Google Voice as well. But I think it might have gotten pulled from the App Store. I got it a couple weeks ago. So it might still be available. You might want to check. Google Voice, the official app. Doodle Cart, that's a fun game that you can play. It's free, which is great. A sound effects app. Kayak for looking at flights and hotels. Touch Mouse for controlling your computer. Snowboard, that's a Christmas game that was up for a while. Tango, you can do video chat with people on other smartphones and everything. Tap Tap Revenge 3, that's also on there. A solitaire game, 
two note apps, A Note, Light, which that one costs money, and SpringPad. You can do that in your browser on your computer too, and that one's great as well. It works out great. Rolando, the Christmas app that you can like write a letter to Santa, that's all it does really. And um, there's also a movie app, and I downloaded RunKeeper because that one is free for the month of January. It normally costs $1.99. I also have Shift, Uno, and Printer Share, which also allows you to print wirelessly if iPrint is not compatible with your printer. On this last page, just some recently downloaded apps, Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A. So that's pretty much it. I still have the default background on here. I have, let's see how many pages I have. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have like six pages of apps. I have lots of them. More reviews to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.